Hi, I'm Jennifer with Martingale here with a trunk show of quilts from the book Fast and Fun Lap Quilts by author Melissa Corey. In this book, you'll find nine great patterns for quilts using 10 inch squares. You might know them as layer cakes, where you can find the pre-cut squares in packages. Other companies make them as well. Layer cakes are known for uh, Moda fabrics, but uh, Melissa has great ideas for how to maximize the fabric in those 10 inch square bundles and great patterns. So let's get busy. This first quilt is called Three in a Row. And uh, Melissa talks about how she finds inspiration in lots of ways. And for this particular quilt, as you can imagine, tic-tac-toe was her inspiration, playing that game with her kids. So there are X and O blocks, and she's sort of got a positive negative going on here. She's got the white background fabric that she's used as the X, and she uses it to surround the fabrics in the O's and the layer cake makes up the volume of colors used in the quilt. So this one is called three in a row. The next quilt I have to show you is called Keystone Corners. And sometimes it can be difficult to uh, find sort of a, a more masculine looking quilt. And so Melissa was trying to do that with this design. And Keystone Corners was really inspired for her by a garden path. You can sort of see that as you look at the overall design. But what I love about this pattern is she gives you a uh, method that she uses for no waste flying geese. So you really maximize the use of your 10 inch squares in building this quilt together and getting those arrows formed uh, on this particular pattern. So this is called Keystone Corners. Now, a lover of classic blocks, uh, Melissa does enjoy uh, the traditional churn dash block, but here she sort of added an extra element to that and put a diamond center in the middle of those blocks for diamond dash with a little twist on, a, on that. And then she's got a secondary block in between those um, that again uses the flying geese method that she has, diamond dash. Forming secondary patterns is something Melissa is known for. So this quilt is called Aurora. And you can see there are two blocks here. Um, this has the Ohio star block in the centers. And then she sort of bursts out from there. And there are X blocks and O blocks. You can see there's an O block here in the corner and X blocks in the middle. And putting those X blocks in position creates this secondary sort of Irish chain that's happening in the background. So this is just straight set blocks, but putting them together and where she's placed those corner stones creates the Irish chain as a secondary design. So that's Aurora. This next quilt was inspired by fields of tulips and the windmills that were in the area. It's called Dutch Days. And you can see a lot of motion and spinning created in these blocks, the color fields uh, that she's chosen with the purples and the orange and a little splash of turquoise and gold. I just love it. Dutch days. How many of you remember uh, as a kid playing games at recess? Melissa says her favorite game was jacks. She would always grab the jacks and the ball, and I used to love that game as well. So this quilt uh, was inspired by the kids game jacks, and she uses a stitch and flip method to create all of these corners and get these interesting shapes. And uh, some encouraging tips as well for how to sort of use chain piecing methods and other ways to speed that process along because you are making quite a few of them, but uh, it can be really fun and you can see the sparkling colors across the field. The next quilt is this one that's behind me and it's a beauty. It has a lot of open space and beautiful quilting. So if you like to work on your machine quilting, this would be a fantastic pattern. It's called Merry-Go-Round. The interlocking units are created by uh, the sashing and how she puts the quilt together. So very creative. And she's got a great tip for using washi tape that um, I won't spoil here, but in the book, she'll tell you how she uses that to make sure that everything lines up just perfectly as she's cutting these pieces. So this quilt is called Merry-Go-Round. Keeping with that interlocking pieces theme, 
This quilt is called Puzzle Box and it's made in pairs. So while it might look sort of intimidating to get this whole thing laid out, each unit is really two interlocking squares. So you can keep track of it and it's not that difficult to piece together and um, a great way to showcase a variety of prints and a design that looks more complex and just the way that you rotate those blocks when you put them together forms that interlocking chain. So that's called Puzzle Box. And last, but certainly not least, this quilt is called Treasured. And it is 12 blocks, uh, just set with a simple sashing, tone-on-tone uh, -tone print. And uh, what I love about this is she said that she was going to call it X marks the spot for the center of those blocks, but then she decided she'd call it Treasured because at where X marks the spot is where you do find the treasure. So a beautiful uh, quilt that uses those 10 inch squares. So if you love layer cakes or 10 inch square kits, look for the book Fast and Fun Lap Quilts wherever you buy books or at shopmartingale.com.